I'm using the flower paper in the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in the back here. And then I'm going to do two out of this one here. We already have three. I kind of like this side of it, so I'm just going to put it right here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just cut all of these out. I obviously brought some extra tags here. I think the easiest way to cut these out is to just kind of trim around them. And that's basically what I like to do. So I'm just going to cut this out here. How's everybody doing today? I think I might cut around that might be easier for me. And I always save all of my scraps just so whenever I need little pieces of something, I always have scraps left over. I'm actually doing pretty okay. Thanks for asking, Julianne. You know, just coming back from Canada, actually. Canada was wonderful. I was there for a whole weekend. And people are so nice in Canada. Except for the people in customs. They were mean. But that's okay. I think everybody in customs is mean. They have to be mean. But um, I had a wonderful time. People were really sweet. Can't wait to go back. Um, it was nice and cold too. So... I love the cold. Like, I love it. Like, everybody's freezing right now here in L.A., but I'm loving it. I'm like, oh, my God, yes. Like, yes. Have I warmed back already? Um, well, yeah, but I'm not really enjoying the, the heat. I don't like hot weather, which is funny because I live in the hottest, one of the hottest states. Um, but that's okay. I also, yeah, I guess, Selena, I did see snow. It was really exciting, actually. I had not seen snow ever in my life, um, so that was pretty exciting. Everybody else was looking at me like I was a lunatic because I was like taking all these videos of the snow, and they're probably dreading that it was snowing, but I was excited. I was like, oh my god, like snow, like real snow. So that was pretty exciting. All right, so I'm going to just kind of take all of these bits and clean them out here.
I'm just going to take my punch and punch those holes out. I know, right, Carrie? You guys are getting tons of snow. Lucky, lucky. I'm just going to go ahead and punch out the holes on these. I've never seen snow before, and I lived in California all my life. Actually, we do have snow in California up in the mountains, but I never get to go, so yeah. Oh, it's kind of annoying, isn't it? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, just ink the edges on this. And I'm just going to take um, a dark marker and just kind of go around the edges. Um, it's just quicker for me to do it this way. Saves a little time. Just like to cover the core of the paper. And I'm using um, a dark brown marker here. Love, love, love how these are turning out. Love the paper and the colors. So shabby. Thank you, Chalk. I love it too. I, I am in love with my paper. I can't wait to make more projects with it as soon as it comes back into stock. We're out of stock right now, so hopefully once it comes back into stock, I can make more projects with it on Live with Prima. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure these are all nice and stuck. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that paper... It's Gary Vengeance on OMG. My BFF is on. Hi, Gary. I'm going to go ahead and cut these cards out of here. Adam, call 211, Adam. And sorry about that. There's always someone looking for someone. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim these out. I think I need these too. I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out over here. And I'm right now I'm just cutting all the pieces that I need for the tags. I'm not worrying about the rest because I can use the rest on another project. A little edge on there. And um, I think I need these two down here. Got my little cards there. Just gonna pick these little bits out of the way. 
All right. So now out of all these cards, we're going to start assembling the first one here. I'm going to take my first card. And I'm just going to go ahead and round the corners on this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and ink the edges on the card. And I'm going to adhere it with some foam tape. And I always make sure to put enough foam tape so that it's balanced, especially because if you're going to put liquid pearls like I do, you want to make sure that you have foam tape on your edges so that it doesn't lift up because essentially the liquid pearls is it's kind of like paint. So if you're going to put paint on something, you want to make sure it's nice and flat. So I'm going to remove all this tape here. And I'm just going to go ahead and attach it towards the top of the tag. So not all the way to the top, but kind of like under that pole there for a second. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of my cards, the one with the little girl. And I love these. These are so cute. Like, so cute. And I'm just going to go ahead and fuzzy cut her out. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just, you know, as long as you kind of get some of that rounded edge. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't worry about it getting it perfect. Because, um, you know, as all, you all know, I'm a horrible fuzzy cutter. But it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And Julie Lenning would be on me right now about the way I'm doing this, but it's okay. If Julie's watching this, I'm sorry, Julie. It's hard to get all those little, small little pieces, but just, you know, you don't have to get them all perfect. Easy peasy. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach her right here. And I'm obviously going to use some foam tape on her. Do you guys have any questions for me so far? I know I'm kind of going a little bit fast, but... I'm trying to get through all of these tags here. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Okay, I think that might be enough. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and put this girl right here. She looks so pretty. And I'm just going to lift her wings up a little bit just so that they look a little bit more dimensional. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and start putting um, down some flowers here. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these. These are so pretty. These are really, really pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of lift it up a bit. And I'm going to put it right here.
I'm going to take one of these beautiful shiny flowers. I'm going to take off the green. This. And I'm going to go ahead and put this guy right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take two of those little flat flowers. Just like some smally ones. So like this looks cute right here. Just going to go ahead and put one on each side. One right here. And one on the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bird. I like this one here. He's just kind of sitting. So I'm just going to go ahead and peer him on. Right here. And then I'm going to take two of those little roses. Please. And I'm just going to carefully try to remove those um, grains. And I'm going to just put those on the bottom here. Run right here. And one right here. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Now I'm going to take um, some cardstock. Uh, just have some regular cream cardstock, and I'm going to take my My stamp, where is my stamp? I'm gonna take this stamp set and I'm gonna take the little word that says dream. I just think that's so cute. I'm gonna put it on my block here. And I'm gonna ink it with some archival ink and coffee. And then I'm going to just kind of let it dry. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. And these are just fun little words.
this is a really small phrase, so you just have to kind of be careful when cutting it. Okay, looks something like this. Not cute. So I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna just take some glue here. Gonna take some glossy accents. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere it right here. Okay. So now once you have that done, you can go back with some liquid pearls and add them to her wings. See how I've added in her wings the the pearls on her crown there. I don't know if you guys could see it. Okay. So there's the first tag. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the other tag. I'm gonna use do this floral one. And for that I'm gonna be using some watercolor paper. I'm gonna take my stamp now that I have it out and I'm gonna take out this little girl here. She is so super cute. Just gonna go ahead and stamp her on the paper. And you do need to use some archival ink for this because it needs to be waterproof. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and um, trim this paper a little shorter. Okay, so I have her stamped right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my watercolor pencils. And I have a scrap piece of paper here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use a light blue, like this nice, really pretty turquoise, and this really pretty pink. And maybe um, a little bit of this one here. This is like a nice little, almost gold color. And I'm going to go ahead and put some color on here. And you can do it either way. I mean, I like doing it this way but it can be done any way you like. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my water brush. I'm gonna start with the pink color here. So I'm just gonna take some of this color on my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and Remove this down here. I'm going to go ahead and start painting her wings.
I like this color. It's almost like a coral. It's like very pretty. Okay, so I'm basically just coloring her wings right now with this pretty color. All right, and I'm gonna go in with the uh, blue or mint or turquoise. I mean, or teal. I mean, it looks very pretty. So I'm just gonna start coloring her dress. It's looking kind of cute, isn't it? Love the way that's looking. Okay. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of this, kind of almost looking like a mustardy color. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on her hair. I'm gonna take a lighter color, this one right here, for her skin. It's almost like a peachy. And then we're going to take a little bit more of this color here. Just going to color his shoe. Okay. She looks kind of cute, doesn't she? Just going to put a little bit more color on her face. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fuzzy cut her out. Just gonna go ahead and um, give it a quick dry real quick. <clears throat> I 
I'm just gonna let him cut her out. She's a little bit smaller, so you just have to be careful with her when cutting her out. All right, just have a little piece right here that I need to cut off and we're good. Okay, so here's the doll, or the girl, or fairy. Okay, gonna move this out of the way. And I have my card cut out already. This beautiful thank you card. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners on this again. And I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edges. And I'm going to take my tag out, it's this one right here. I'm going to put some foam tape on that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in the middle, right here. I'm going to take our lovely girl that we just made, and I'm just going to put some foam tape behind her.
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put her right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some flowers so we can decorate this tag. I'm gonna take another one of these pretty flowers. And put that right there, kind of next to her. I'm going to go ahead and take another one of these flatter ones. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to take one of these um, pretty crystal gems. I love these. Love, love, love these. These are so pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze one over here on top of this. Right there. Okay. Then I'm going to cut two of these little roses again. Just for fun. Gonna peel off these screens really quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere it. One right here. And then one in the corner over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my memory hardware trim. This is my rosette trim from Prima. I'm going to just put some on here. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and adhere it down here at the bottom. Gonna trim off the excess on the sides. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, some of my memory hardware pearls and some glue. And I'm just gonna stick these pearls in the center of the rosettes. Just adds a nice little touch. And I'm using my memory hardware pearls from my memory hardware collection. These are just so pretty.
kind of what it looks like. Okay. I have one more thing that I wanted to add, and it was this little cute little strand of pearls that I found in my stash. I'm just going to go ahead and take some hot glue on one end. Kind of lift this up right here. And then I'm just going to loop it. I'm just going to cut off a little bit of that end there. And I feel like putting another flower in that corner there. Just feel like it needs another one. So I'm just going to put one of these. Okay. So really pretty. And, um,. The ribbon, I'm just using some seam binding for the tops. And I didn't do it in the last one, but I'm using this purple seam binding. Just gonna thread it through here. Oops. So that's that one. And now I wanted to do this one here. This one's uh, really cute. Uh, I'm going to take some of the leftover paper that I have. Art, can you call Palm at 204? Art, call Palm at 204. And I'm going to take a piece that's going to be two and three quarters by five. So let me cut that out now. I'm just going to ink the edges on this one. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this piece in the center. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the center of my tag. So 
So right here. This kind of fits perfectly in the center there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch out a heart from my cream cardstock paper. I'm going to punch out this pretty heart. And then I'm going to take one of my cards here, this one, and I'm going to go ahead and punch out another heart. And I'm just going to go ahead and mount that on there. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and center this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top. Just mounting them both on top of each other. Then I'm gonna take one of my little Here we go. One of my pieces of doily. Looks something like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it right here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some of my flowers. I'm going to take one of these first. I'll put that guy right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and take another one of these. I like this one here. Just so dainty and pretty. And I'm going to use one of these guys. Is that the tags are, um, just a standard tag size. They're going to be uh, three by six and a quarter. And then I'm going to use one of these flatter flowers. Where are they? Just right here. Just kind of peeking out. And then in the center of it, I'm going to take this resin. Take that um, sheet of paper out, the one that has all the images. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and, and take some glossy accents. And I'm just gonna go ahead and frame these little cupids or cherubs or whatever that are down here. I just think they're so cute. Where is my scissors? Oh, here. I'm just going to go ahead and frame these little guys here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut around it. I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that in the center of the heart. Okay. And then what I want to do is once I have the frame on there, I'm going to take some paint. I have some full cart paint. And I'm just going to take a brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and lightly cover up those imperfections on the frame. I think it gives it a more shabby look. add a little bit more paint just to kind of give it a second coat and give it even coverage. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and take my stamp set from this packet. I'm going to take that remember, this one, and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it on the watercolor paper with the same ink. fuzzy cut that out.
love this little title, it's so cute. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to that title by adding a little bit of the watercolor pencil in there. Just wanna kinda of like antique it up just a little bit, just make it look a little antique. Just gonna put some foam tape behind that. Just gonna go ahead and put that right here. There you go. I think this is one of my favorites. It's very cute, very elegant. Um, I am gonna use um, some liquid pearls in here. Um, just so you guys see where they go. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them on all of the little scallops from the heart. And then you can also put them on the little ones if you want. So for example, right here. And I put them on all the scallops.
And here's what that looks like. It just adds a little bit of uh, nice dimension and pretty sheen. Okay, and I think we may only have time for one more. So I'm gonna try to get this one done fairly quickly here. So I'm gonna just do this map one. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out another three by four. See if I have any more of that paper left over. I'm gonna cut it out of this one here. I'm going to cut out another 3 by 4 inch card. I'm just rounding the corners on here. And I'm just going to ink the edges on this. Then I have this um, journaling card, and I'm going to go ahead and punch out a circle out of this one. I'm going to go ahead and just center this right here. And I'm going to put the circle right up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take one of these bigger flowers. Love this one. I'm going to take one of the smaller flowers put that guy right here I'm going to take one of these, these are so pretty, I like these Okay, 
And then we have a pink one. And the pink one is right here. And I'm going to take two smaller flowers. And there, there's one last thing on this tag that I absolutely adore. And that's going to be this here. Which is this, perf it looks like a perfume bottle or something. I just love it. I just think it's so cute. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading on there. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that bottle out. Okay, and I'm going to take just a little piece of tape. There you have it. I think that's so cute. All right, so let me show you the tags that are finished here. So once you finish your tags, you have this one here. Okay. And then we have this one.
we have this one right here. And this one. And this one. Aren't these lovely? I love these. I love the way they turned out. All right. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. Let me pan up here. Okay. Perfect. I do have a few announcements. Um, so the next show is um, a watercolor canvas mini album on Thursday at 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. I don't know who's doing that because I don't see a name on there, Carrie, but maybe Carrie knows who's doing the watercolor canvas mini album, but I'm excited to see what that looks like. Um, awesome. And then also remember Art Venture Canada. We just started registrations um, maybe like a week ago or something like that. And it's already like 40% full. So if you guys live in the Edmonton area, um, it's September 5th and 6th um, in Edmonton, Alberta. And um, there's a payment plan. So remember, there's a payment plan that you can go on there and just leave a, a deposit. And then you can go ahead and sign up for that. It's going to be me, the awesome Carrie, and Adrian for teaching. We're going to be teaching some amazing projects. So I'm excited for you guys to go ahead and check that out. Um, so Carrie's going to post the link there. Um, and the registrations are open. Um, and then, oh, Adrian is teaching the class on Thursday. So you guys will get to catch her. Um, and any questions before I kind of go here? Yes, you can almost do kind of Christmas, something kind of Christmassy. This one, right? Looks kind of Christmassy. Oh, Gary, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you again at some point. Any questions before we go? Thank you, Carrie. All right, ladies, well, I'm going to check out here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me or um, find me on Facebook. I'll be posting all these pictures on Facebook and on my blog as well so you guys can check them out. And thank you for coming and have a good day, okay?